Hello and welcome to the Dante Domain Manager or DDM Administrator course. Thanks for all the time you spend in the certification program. If you are here, it means you have already completed our Dante certification program levels 1, 2, and 3. Levels 1, 2, and 3 classes from our Dante certification program are a general education path and provide a standardized training. This ensures the industry not only understands how to use Dante, but it leads us to use the same vocabulary and processes. The new program brings selective classes where we teach topics in depth to a specific audience. This particular course is an elective titled DDM Administrator class, which is open to DDM resellers, AV integrators, end users, and anyone who wants to know more about it. In addition, be on the lookout for our emails and announcements on social media for other elective courses. Some of the planned courses will be on topics such as category cables, intro to fiber, and Dante with AS67 and 70 ST 2110. Studies suggest that the most successful students tend to watch and learn some topics multiple times. So if you feel the need to watch a course, don't worry, you are not alone. Besides the chapters in this class, I might also suggest making sure you're solid on the level one, two, and three topics, like latency, clocking, IP address, subnet mask, and gateway, as well as unicast and multicast. Those will play a big role in this class. Now, in this class, we recognize that you already have a lot of networking skills built up by setting up networks for varying sizes. So in the first section, We'll explain how DDM works with an overview of some of the requirements you need to set it up. We talk about some of the features of DDM in the general dance certification courses, but now it's time to go in depth. In the following sections, we will cover the design principles and requirements of DDM in a Dante ecosystem. We also take a detailed look into setting up and using DDM, including how to create domains, users and roles, creating multi-subnet domains, monitoring, managing, and logging your Dante network. Finally, we round off with DDM and its interoperability with external IT services, including LDAP, email, and SNMP. With the ever-expanding Dante platform, we will also be creating short learning modules that provide information on new functionality. Throughout the course, there will be references to documentation that can be accessed on our website in the support section of DDM. This will include critical information about network setup, installation guides, and FAQs. Some of these will also be accessible as part of your DDM administrator class under the My Files section, which you can find by hovering over your name in the learning portal. Now, just like our levels 1, 3, and 3, to pass this course, you'll have a test at the end of each of the three sections. Each of them has around 20 questions. And remember, you'll need a passing mark of at least 80% in each one in order to be certified. The goal of the course is to ensure your knowledge is well balanced. This will help with a successful deployment of a DDM-based Dante network. If you fail one section, don't worry, you only need to retake that one test. You don't have to take all three all over again. Once you pass all the three tests, you will become an ordinate certified DDM administrator. Go ahead and frame that certificate, share it on LinkedIn or any social media you want. Tell the world. The certificate will be available to you right away and you will also receive a DDM administrator certification logo that you can use for your social media, business cards and other promotions. Once the logo has been added to your account, you will find it by hovering over your name and selecting My Files. So with that, I wish you success. And let's start with the Dante Domain Manager Administrator course.